Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Rio. Today, as you can see, I have my spring and summer clothing haul. I know we're pretty much over spring, but some of these items were bought during the spring. So I have quite a collection of some of the things that I bought these last couple months. Some of them are not summer appropriate, which is why I picked them up during the spring. But anyway, I have quite a few items to get into today. So let's hop right in. First up, I have a pair of shorts. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a little while, you guys know I don't really wear shorts. However, for the past year or so, I've been challenging myself to wear them a little more often as of last summer when I kind of talked about why I didn't like wearing shorts. It's been a bit of a challenge, but I've been doing okay with it. I think these are called the Nike Woven Sportswear Shorts or something like that. These were super popular, I believe, in like 2019 or have been popular since 2019. Since then, I've seen a lot of people wearing these and they're a bit on the shorter side. I think they have like a seven inch inseam, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, either a five or a seven, somewhere between there. So they're fairly on the shorter side. These are made in a ton of colors. As you can see, I just went with the basic black, white drawstring, white Nike logo on the left leg. And that's just because I feel like I can get more use and more wear out of this color. Of course, it's a basic black color, way more versatility, but they make them in ton and ton of colors. And I just don't usually wear colored shorts that often. So for that reason, I didn't feel the need to grab them. I think the retail on these shorts are like 45 bucks. However, I did get mine on end clothing. I got these a couple months ago. So I've had these for a little bit of a while, but I'm showing you guys these now only because since it is summertime, of course you're gonna get more wear out of them during the summer. But anyway, that's the first pickup. They should be linked down below. So any of you guys that are interested, you can check them out there. The second item, we have another pair of shorts. And you know, like I mentioned, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen me showcase quite a bit of jerseys through the past several months or whatever. So I wanted to just grab some Bulls shorts. Now these are the Mitchell and Ness Chicago Bulls authentic shorts, which I believe is a 97, 98 year. One thing that's a little, I guess a little frustrating is that they don't have pockets. I've heard of some guys actually take them to the tailor and have them sew some pockets into them. So I think I'm gonna have to look into that at some points because I just like having pockets, even if I really don't use them to store stuff, I just like putting my hands on them, you know? I'm sure y'all know how that goes. Normal length, they hit pretty much right at the knee or a little bit above. Like I mentioned before, I really don't wear bright colored shorts, but I think these are a really good option because of course they're a Chicago Bulls colorway. If you have enough Jordans that are of course of that same colorway, they work perfect. And then we have the same year, 97, 98 year, with the alternate in black. And everything is pretty much the same except, of course, they're in color black. And made by Mitchell and Ness, they are the authentics. So yeah, I grabbed those as well. I'm not gonna spend too much time on these, but you know, they're a great wear, a great piece for the summer. I wouldn't be the guy who does a jersey, like a Bulls jersey with Bulls shorts. I, I think that's a little bit too much personally, but you know, to each your own, if that's kind of how you wanna rock it, then hey, I can't knock you for it. It's just something I won't be doing, unfortunately. But anyway, these are the other Chicago Bulls shorts that I grabbed. Let's hop into the next pieces. Now, the next few pieces I'm gonna show you are gonna be the things that I really won't be utilizing during the heat of summer, no pun intended. And I grabbed these because I had kind of really taken a liking to them. And I, that is the sweatpants. Now, if you saw, I don't know how many videos ago this was, I uploaded a uh, spring sweatsuits video. And if you saw that video, you know I kind of talked about Talentless and kind of liking their sweatsuits, just the quality of them, the fit. I think they're dope. There was a sale and I went back and grabbed a few more. So as you can see, I have them here in black. These are their basic black sweats. And of course, with the heat, I'm not gonna be rocking these when it's like 90 plus degrees outside. It's just not gonna happen, even 80 plus degrees outside. Now, if it's a nice, cool summer night, maybe I might pull off the sweats if I'm feeling like it, but I grabbed them, I just wanted to show you. So I got them in black. You can kind of see the back there. There's a right side back pocket. So yeah, so that's one of the pairs I grabbed. And I also grabbed a few others. I'm gonna show you those as well. Then I got them in this Bordeaux burgundy color. Really, really nice. I just found this was very unique. I didn't own anything like this at all. And again, I don't really, I didn't own a whole lot of sweats. So I wanted to kind of add more to my wardrobe. One thing I like, and I mentioned this in the uh, sweatsuits video in spring. So check it out if you haven't, I'll link it up here for you. They have pockets, well, zipper pockets inside of the other pocket. 
So if you want to store some cash in there, your keys, you will have no fear of losing them. Like for me, <laughs> with my AirPods, sometimes I put my AirPods in my pocket and in the car they slip out or even my phone sometimes. And that's always like super annoying. All of these are in the size medium and I have a couple, a few more actually. So let me keep going. Then I picked them up in this camel color. Uh, everything is pretty much the same. The colors changed. All of these, I believe, are garment dyed. So they're really nice, really soft, really nice quality. Uh, and they're pretty heavyweight, which is why I wouldn't suggest for you to wear them during the summertime. But of course, it does depend on your location. So if you are somewhere where you can get away with wearing sweats during the summer, hey, by all means, make it happen. I saw some time ago that Talentless had a sale on these. So I grabbed the joggers, which I do like these in the um, blue color. I really like the way they look. I think they're like, they're very like, almost like 80s-ish, very vintage, very retro, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty dope. Just like the others I showed you, just in a different wash, of course, a different color. And I also got them in some shorts and a sweatshirt. But as you can see, the colors are just completely different. So they don't really work as well. And then this sweatshirt, I'm, I'm out, I know I'm out of frame here, <laughs> but this, I'll put it to the side. But the sweatshirt, just with the joggers, it doesn't really work as well. I think the shorts and the sweatshirt work a little bit better together, but I think because they are enzyme wash, they just, I don't think they're able to get the washes as close enough to work together, which is kind of disappointing because if you're gonna buy the pieces, you're essentially buying them to wear together. So it kind of defeats the purpose. The joggers, I can probably wear those by themselves with like a t-shirt and some sneakers and make it work. And then, you know, kind of the same things with these, I can kind of break them up if I want to, but I can definitely make the sweatshirt and the shorts work. So that's kind of probably what I'll be wearing more so together. So that's kind of why I grabbed these. And for the most part, I'm gonna be keeping these pieces. The shorts are a size medium, the sweatshirt's a size medium, and then the pants are also a size medium. So every single piece, is a size medium, as well as everything I've showed you thus far today. And now let's get into my last couple of talentless pieces. So I ended up grabbing another sweatsuit, as I mentioned, and this is one of those ones where I don't think I'm gonna keep. And it's mainly because the colors are just too far apart. As you can see, it's also enzyme washed and it's, it's in the black color, but the pants and the, the, the hoodie, they're just so far apart that I couldn't, you can't, well, I say you can't, but you can if you want to. I'm gonna say I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear these together just because they're too contrasting and it just, it's not a good look in my opinion. So I just wouldn't do it. This one is, looks even more like vintage, vintage. It reminds me of like an 80s pair of acid watch jeans. It's just not working for me. I honestly don't even know if I can return them because I think they were on sale, but I'm gonna look in to see what I can do with them. The pants are a size medium, the hoodies a size medium. I like all of the other talentless pieces I bought, but these just, they weren't doing it for me. As we all know with fashion, with today's fashion, we've been seeing a lot of the relaxed silhouette. And I've spoke about it on the channel in the past, but how, you know, it just really hasn't been for me. But as I expand and grow within my interest in fashion, interest in style, I've been trying to find ways to make certain things work for me. And it's not even just really for me, it's for you guys and for the channel. So I can show you that it's okay to try different things. It's okay to try new things. You may not be all for it, but that doesn't mean you can't maybe add one or two of them in your wardrobe and try to spice it up a little bit. For the next couple pieces, that's what I did. We have a pair of relaxed jeans. Now these are by Levi's. These are the 550 relaxed. And I actually like these. They are a little bit, as far as the leg opening, a little bit on the wider side than I would prefer them to be. I will be taking them in just maybe like in half an inch, just so they can have a nice like taper down at the leg. I did have them pinned up just to kind of see how I wanted to do them, but I unpinned them for the video. At some point here, very shortly, I will be working on these just to bring them in only at the leg, just a little bit. I like the actual fit and the flow of them. They sit a little bit uh, above the waist, so they're kind of more of a high-waisted look. I think this just draped the body really nicely. That's the best way I can put it. You know, I attempted, I tried something, trying something a little bit different. I wouldn't build my wardrobe around relaxed clothing. That's just not really for me. I really like buying clothes and wearing clothes that fit my body. There's no knock to anyone that actually does build their wardrobe around relaxed clothing, but 
I think it's a very trendy thing to do right now. Who's to say that it's gonna stick around? And if you build your wardrobe around these type of pieces, your wardrobe will not be useful a few years from now. I've learned that lesson the hard way with skinny jeans and biker jeans and all these other things that have been in trend and then they, they're not anymore. I would do it in small, small doses and what better way to do it with than a traditional brand such as Levi's. Just a, a very classic pair of Levi's. Now I got these in a size 32, 30. So a 32 in the waist is my normal size and I got them in a 30 length, which is a little bit shorter because um, I didn't want them to be you know, hanging down. I didn't want any of the um, bunching down at the legs. I just wanted to have a really nice clean finish and maybe give it one nice cuff. So that was the idea when I picked these up. And then once I tapered the leg opening just a little bit, then they're gonna be fire. Again, got them in stone wash, and then let me show you the next pair I got. And then I also got the same fit in the same style in medium stone wash. Everything is pretty much the same, the same exact fit, size 32, 30. And I'm also gonna taper these in as well. And when I say taper them in, I don't mean like, you know, from the entire leg. I literally mean just from like, maybe like lower calf down to the uh, leg opening, just like a half inch, just so that when it comes down, it slowly kind of tapers in just a little bit, very, very, very slightly, but it's gonna give it a better drape down at the leg opening. And that's usually what I've been doing with most of my, my uh, pants as of late, just because I like them to have a nice finish down at the hem. It's personal preference. And I went with the stone wash because medium and mid stone washers, they're super, super versatile. And that's kind of what I was kind of alluded to earlier is that if you're gonna partake in some of these trends or some of these popular pieces, do it with things that you know you can wear whenever and mid wash stone wash you can wear them whenever so that's kind of the idea there the next two pieces are going to be some tops this is a white and light blue striped shirt from h m i was walking through h m a couple weeks ago and i just happened to see it and i thought to myself like it's a very unique color and i just I've talked about on the channel a lot of times. I just, I like stripes. I don't know what it really is. It doesn't matter if it's vertical, horizontal. I just like stripes. I like horizontal better for tops and I like vertical better for uh, bottoms. I got it in a size medium. Now it's supposed to be relaxed. I feel like it's pretty fitted. The sleeves are a little bit on the longer side. So maybe that's where the relaxed came in at, I, I don't know. But I could have gone up a size. And I've, at one point I feel like I should have. But then when I put it on a couple outfits, I was like, nah, it's fine. I, it, I rock with it, so it's cool. It should be available, so I will link it down below for you for you guys that are interested. But that was uh, the first shirt that I picked up. And I think I have a couple more shirts also from H&M. So let's hop into those. Of course, this one has the vertical stripes. I'm telling you, man, I got a problem with stripes. I don't know what it is, but just certain striped pieces just kind of jump out at me. And this one is more of like a, um, it's a, it's a essentially it's light blue. And I think this is a really nice summer color. Of course, it's a Cuban collar, which is also great for the summer. And would you imagine another striped shirt? You know what's funny? I have a couple other versions of this. They're fairly cheap on H&M. And by the way, the next piece is also from H&M. I didn't realize all four tops were from H&M. Uh, but these are fairly cheap, by the way. They're, they don't cost a whole lot at all. But I picked these up in a couple other colors and really, really liked them. When I think of relaxed piece, that's what this is. The first shirt I showed you, the light blue uh, and white striped shirt, that didn't really seem relaxed. This is a relaxed piece. It is a size medium. It fits a little more flowy. It may not be the ideal summer shirt, but it's loose enough to give you um, some, some breathing room. Pull the sleeves up, do whatever you wanna do. This one has more of like an, um, an ivory base to it with some olive greens, light blue, navy, lime green. Of course, the back is essentially the same exact thing. And the last shirt that I have, but this is a linen button down shirt, but this is also a vertical striped shirt. And it's a perfect summer shirt, you know, for that matter. But this one has almost like an oatmeal and ivory details in it as far as the stripe. It is linen, of course, so it's very, very lightweight in the composition. I believe I did get in the size large. I think it fits great. I think it looks great. And I would definitely be rocking this this summer. And lastly, I picked up a couple hats. Now, this is the first one I got. And I don't know if this is politically correct at this point. It's a Cleveland Indians. And I know they have since changed their logo so this isn't the current logo anymore maybe i'm not supposed to be wearing it but i've always liked it so my, my bad if i'm breaking any rules here but i've always liked this so it's, that's why i got it I, i've had them in snapbacks and i just wanted to get this uh which is a fitted cap and i haven't worn fitteds in a very very long time as you can see this is a new era fitted hat well maybe you can't tell by that angle but on that side you can kind of see it there maybe you know what's sad is that i didn't even know my fitted hat size so i had to kind of test that and measure it 
and I didn't realize my head was as small, as small as it is. This is a size seven. Let me put it on for you so you can kind of see. I think I got B-roll too, but it fits nice and snug how I prefer it to look. Back in the day when I was buying fitted caps, I think I was buying them like seven and three fourths or something ridiculous to where it's like it was big on my head and cover my ears. I know I'm not the only one who did that kind of stuff. That's kind of what we did. Fitteds I feel like went out of style at one point and I'm not the kind of person who just does things because they're or cool. I just really just do them because I like them. But back in the day when, you know, when that's really what people wear, it's kind of what you just bought. Over the years, I pretty much just bought snapbacks. And then I kind of went into the whole dad hat things. And then I kind of went into like Velcro strap because I wanted small crowns and some snapbacks have high crowns. I learned about New Era making these low profile hats, which kind of give you a nice curved brim. It's not super high on the head. I went ahead and grabbed a couple. If it's not politically correct, then, you know, my bad. The last and final pickup is this Detroit Tigers fitted hat. I almost said dad hat and it's not that. Buy New Era as well. For some reason, I've, I've always liked the simplicity of the D logo right at the front and that old English font. I just always liked that. And I, I've never had a Detroit Tigers hat in any form or fashion. This as well is in a size seven. I've seen some guys do this and I think I may want to do this with this one as well. I'm not really feeling the New Era logo on the side here. So I think I may uh, remove that. I've seen that you can just take a seam ripper and then slowly just work your way at the threads until it's gone. I feel like we'll just have a cleaner look if that just wasn't there. Personal preference. Also bought a black one, which was the white socks, which is also a size seven. I've heard that because these hats are handmade, you can get the same exact size, but they can tend to run smaller, bigger. That size seven was like, it had a stranglehold on my head. It was so tight that the fact that the hat was like, it was like that on my, it was, it was deformed on my head because it was so tight. It didn't, it didn't look right. So I had to send that one back. I guess I could have tried to order another one with my, you know, cross my fingers, hoping that it would fit, but I just had to heck with it. These are the two fitted hats that I currently own. Let me give you guys a turn so you can see what this one looks like. That's a side profile, another side profile. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the hats. Let me know what you think about the entire pickups. I will be having some footwear pickups coming sometime soon. I know I just did a New Balance video not too long ago, but I did grab some other things that I'm gonna show you guys. Be on the lookout for that. A lot of other content will be dropping. I've been filming a lot. Comment down below which piece was your favorite. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more fashion, style, and lifestyle content. Click the bell and turn on your post notifications so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Follow me over on Instagram if you're not fashion, style, stuff over there. And that does it for this video. Let me catch you guys on the next one. Peace.